Hey everyone, this is Victor Campos, and we're talking about selling products via WordPress using the WP e-commerce plugin. So so far we've got a uh, we've got a product, and a person has chosen to buy two of the of this delicious pecan pie. Now this is not quite set up yet uh, completely. You want to check the previous videos about setting shipping and and taxes and all of that, and even how to add a product. But now I want to deal with how do you get paid? So there's many ways to do this, and what we need is a payment gateway. Um, there's always going to be a middleman that takes the person's credit card, processes it, and gives you the money. And they're always going to take their cut, some percent. Uh, every company is a bit different, but expect to pay between two percent and three and a half percent per transaction. That's just the nature of the game. So here's how we're going to set up. I recommend to get your shopping cart running the fastest is set up a PayPal account. PayPal has been around since 1999. They accept all major credit cards. They have a they have an affordable transaction fee and uh, they're pretty easy to set up and verify. So that's a little bit of our out of our scope at the moment, but um, they've got a bunch of uh, help for you to set up, but you want to create an account, either personal or business, whichever you, one you want to uh, set up, and uh, verify every everything that it asks you for, so that when you uh, when people buy your product, you'll get the money into your bank account and, and all of that. So let's say you took the time to set up PayPal. Here's what we would need to do to actually connect your PayPal with your store back on the back end the settings of the store there's a tab here called payments there's a few built-in payment methods the one that is currently active is the test gateway so if people try to buy your product at this point nothing will really happen and you can check the settings to have it display something while the text while the test gateway is 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 running but um, the one I recommend that we use is PayPal Express checkout 2.0 not the standard one but the Express under settings it asks for a few items what do you want to display on screen when people are going to buy your product this is the text that people see when making a purchase. So PayPal Express is fine. You can change it to uh, all major credit cards accepted, whatever you want. It asks for a few items, API username, password, and signature. Now you get all of those from your PayPal uh, account. And I'll show you those in a moment. Uh, when we're ready for, uh, for production, that is to be live and start selling products, we want to make sure production is turned on. IPN, in short, is the system that relays the actions that the user has taken. So that is, when a person buys your product, PayPal is notified that there is a transaction happening. PayPal, in turn, notifies the plugin that a product is pending to be sold. Once PayPal verifies, that the money has gone through, PayPal then sends a message to the website uh, on the dashboard that says the product was sold. So by default, that is on, so that yes, you do know what's going on in the backend transactions. So where do you get this stuff from? API username and such. Uh, I have a PayPal account, and I'll show you uh, what you need to do once you have logged into your PayPal and I've blacked out re, um, details of my account uh, when you log in you'll have a bunch of tabs under the my account tab you will see profile under profile you need to click on my selling tools under my selling tools you'll have a variety of options make sure you're under my selling tools 
and you'll see lots of items set up here. All of them have been blacked out except for API access. Manage API credentials to integrate my PayPal account with my online store or shopping cart. So this is where we get the info to connect your PayPal with whatever shopping cart or e-commerce store you set up. Here you would click on Update. The next screen has you make a choice, option one, option two. In short, simply select option two because that's the screen that will give you the info that the shopping cart plugin is asking for. So on this screen, API access, make sure you select option two, view the API signature. I can't show you my credentials. Of course, I'd like for your products to be sold and for me to get the money, but I'm a bit more honest than that. So on this screen, you would normally be seeing all of the items that the plugin is asking for. The API username, API password, API signature. You simply look at that, copy it from this screen over to this screen, API username, password, and signature. Click Done back on PayPal. And then say and then update in the plugin. And that's basically it. That is going to set up a connection between PayPal and uh, your shopping cart so that when people add the product to their cart and go to checkout, they're able to fill out all of these details and a proper uh, purchasing option. So the biggest hurdle is setting up your PayPal account. And as I said, go back to PayPal, read the documentation, and you should be able to set yourself up pretty easily.